I do want to ask you about Caleb Williams not doing the medical, so. Yeah. I know, like, you know, Albert Breer was saying, I don't think this is much of a big deal. I feel like everybody else, especially fans, were like, oh, my God, what is this? Why isn't he doing this? What do you think the logic was behind that? Obviously, he said, you know, it's just going to be that one team. Do you think maybe it wasn't the best move in terms of how it is from, like, an outside perspective, a PR perspective? But do you think, hey, mm-hmm. man, it's Caleb Williams. People know what he is. It, it doesn't really matter if he's not trying to do medicals for, like, all these teams that aren't going to have a shot yeah. at taking So it's interesting to me because I know that the national media is painting the picture that Caleb Williams nailed his interviews. Uh, That's not the impression that I got walking around Moby or walking around the Indy on Saturday. I heard that there were some up and down things. Now, obviously, I can't confirm any of that. I wasn't in the room. Those were just some whispers that I heard myself that it was not as blow everyone away as the national media has made it out to be which does beg the question, what's going on? Like, is the arrogance, because he does not have an agent. So a lot of what happens is through his own team. And I will say one thing that I can confirm myself is that I got, when I got the day I got there, I was walking past uh, Steak and Shake. And Mm -hmm. he and his team, someone had just bought out the entire restaurant because it was just he, his team, and there was no one else there. Which is a little weird for a place like uh, a steak and shake that you just go and you buy it out. <laughs> yeah, and right. Sit down. Like, there's there's something to that. Now, I understand being the quarterback and, and having the mentality of you do things my way, and I, I'm just going to be that kind of guy. So him saying, "I'm only going to do medicals for the teams that can draft me, or maybe the, the, the teams that I want to do medicals for," there is that. I don't care so much about it, but that paired with some of the things, like I said, that I heard about his interviews, not necessarily going as well as the national media brings about just, it doesn't make the whole picture very clear. And that's something you'd want to see coming out of the, you know, the combine, you want to have a better clear picture. And specifically when it comes to the Chicago bears, they have to wait to trade Justin Fields now. They have zero medical information on Caleb Williams. So it puts them behind the eight ball. And maybe that was his play all along saying, you guys are going to go by my timetable, which you can personally, it bothers me a little bit. Um, I would have liked to see him just get the medicals done. Sorry, just get the medicals done and have everyone be able to do that. But that's not how he wanted to go about it. So to each his own. If he doesn't bother you, doesn't bother you. Just it's kind of just rubbed me the wrong way a little bit. Testing my skills on Prize Picks this season is the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. If you have the skills, you can turn ten dollars into a thousand dollars with just a few taps. Use the code CLNS for the first deposit match up to a hundred dollars. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Just some of the things I've heard, that kind of feels like a theme where publicly, like, you know, the discourse around Caleb is pretty positive. But then yeah. behind the scenes, it's not quite that way. Like, you know, I've heard rumblings that we even have like Brendan Rice where Caleb goes and like asks Brendan Rice a question when he's at the podium. Yeah. Looks really fun. Brendan Rice handles it well. I'm not saying Brendan Rice specifically, but I have heard that some teammates will say very nice things about him publicly. And behind the scenes, it's not really the same way. And they don't really think he's as great of a leader as maybe, you know, some Mm storylines have made him out to be. And with the Bears, you have Justin Fields, who, yes, on the field is inconsistent. He has uh, incredible flashes, but even more Mm -hmm. than that. The Bears do care about the character, especially of a quarterback and someone like a leader, like the Patriots. Justin Fields is beloved by his teammates. He is someone that they will run through a brick wall for. So it becomes much more interesting, especially now that this is happening after the combine week where, okay, yes, Caleb is a generational talent. And at the end of the day, like if you win and you perform on the field, people are going to give you passes for a lot of stuff, you know, in terms of maybe you got some personality quirks, whatever, it's not going to matter. But even still, you have to do those things. Like you have to come into this system and you have to adapt at some point and then be that stabilizing factor. Mm-hmm. If you're not, this is something that can unravel a franchise where the quarterback is someone that people may not agree with or may not really you know, want to fight for in that same way. And then you're saying, okay, we just kind of reset the direction of our franchise and I'm not really sure where that direction's headed. So it's definitely interesting. You know, Caleb's a young dude. 
a lot of these guys are still learning and growing. And yeah. also a lot of this is speculation. Like we, we can only relay what we hear. So, you know, I hope the best for him, like I do with all these young guys, but at the same time, it's an interesting situation when you have a player who's so talented, you almost can't pass on him. But if we end up seeing or some kind of slip or something like that, it kind of gives some perspective as to why that might be. We'll just have to wait and see. It's still very early in the process.